don't say this. You are one of my favorite actors ever. I, I'm so thrilled that you're on the Thank show. Thank you. And, uh, and, and I was completely blown away by your performance in this latest James Bond movie. But I must begin by congratulating you. Uh, you got a star yeah. on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Was that today? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, today, today is the Javier Bardem Day in Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I said that means that everybody has to walk with a broken nose around. <laughs> around the well, what, what, is it, is, was this a dream of yours ever as an actor, as a young boy? Did you think someday I'll get a star? Mm, not remotely, no. No. Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> it's, it's something that sounds kind of surreal for yeah. me. It's a great honor, of course. Yeah. Would you, would you go and visit this star often? I've always uh, wondered do people go and visit their star? <laughs> Well, yes, I guess one day when it's a night and there's nobody there, I can... <laughs> Otherwise, it would be too weird, no? Not me. <laughs> Not me, Javier. I would be there in daylight if I had a star. Like, be like, ah, see that thing there? Well, look who's here. <laughs> Who's face that name? Um, I must ask you, uh, first of all, uh, you are no stranger as an actor to trying different uh, hairstyles. No Country for Old Men, obviously. In this Bond film, you uh, play Silva, and you uh, have this incredible blonde hairdo. I think we can show this right here. <laughs> yeah, it really, oh, you're getting a lot of oohs and ahs here. Uh, uh, did you like having that hairstyle? Well, look who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> my goal, Connor, my, no, it's true. I mean, my goal, the only reason why I keep on playing characters is to try to find a character with that hairstyle. With this hairstyle yeah, right here? Yeah, with your hairstyle. You're an you're Oscar-winning actor, one of the greatest actors in the world, and your only focus is to have my hair? Yeah, it's an obsession for me. Every time I read a script, I go like, where is the hair, where is the hair, where is Connor's hair? <laughs> That's the only thing that keeps me going. You could have gone with this hair as Silva, the Bond villain. You could have done this. I tried, but the director said, that's what people say to me when they see my hair. They go, oh, oh. I think well, we have a rendition of what it would have looked like. <laughs> you, you look fantastic, Javier. You look great. It's by far the best option. Uh, <laughs> You, uh, okay, I, I, I am not reading into this. A lot of people had the same reaction. Uh, the, the, the opening scene, I'm not giving anything away, but there's an opening scene where you first meet James Bond. I believe one of the greatest meetings of a Bond villain and Bond mm -hmm. in the history of the franchise. It's a fantastic scene, and then it really does seem like you are coming on to James Bond in a very sexually aggressive way, and no one sees that coming in this uh, scene. Uh, is, am I interpreting that correctly? You are. <laughs> Javier, why did you stop? It's the happiest I've been in years. You're not the only one with dreams, you know, Javier. You got the point, you got the point. You got the point.